everybody, it's June from Quiltish of Cape Cod and it's winter here and at winter time an iconic image of Cape Cod in New England is to have a skate, holly berries or a wreath adorning mailboxes or street signs. It makes a great iconic image for a quilt like this one. This is Lily. She greets you when you come to visit the studio in the summer and she barks. She is a Jack Russell. My studio is in complete disarray. I'll show you a couple things, but first and foremost, it's obvious that I use K-Facets gridded gray flannel for my design board. Can't do anything without this gridded gray flannel. The reason why my studio is in such disarray is because we're redoing it, so I'm not gonna show you the whole uh, studio. But right here in this corner, these are spools of my fabric. They're about five and a half to six feet tall. And my fabric to date has come like this on these spools. And that's the reason why when you visit my studio shop in the summer, all of my fabrics are pre-cut. There are hundreds of other bolts of fabrics that aren't, but this is the reason why my fabric is pre-cut. These spools are too large for me to keep in my tiny studio shop. So what inspires me to design fabric? The answer is pretty simple. For over 150 years, Artists, potters, poets, playwrights, artisans of all kinds have been inspired by the ever-changing colors in the environment, whether it's crashing waves on an ocean or the shifting colors in the sand and the changing colors even in the brush and the vegetation. There's quite a bit of drama here too that makes for great subject matter. My fabric panel design, called the Clipper Regatta, shows Provincetown's Pilgrim Monument and shoreline and pays homage to the ship that is a New England icon. My Welcome to Cape Cod fabric art panel shows the iconic Sagamore Bridge with all the hustle and bustle of adventure and excitement of driving onto the Cape in the summer and the summer long joy of playing in the water. I go out as often as possible on the ocean. The thrill of a whale emerging next to our boat always inspires design ideas. The Lightkeeper's Quilt was inspired by the women who were lightkeepers and quilters. I shot more than 150 photos of color in the sky at sunset, during stormy seas, and at other times. All those went into the making of the sky for this design. I'm inspired by all of the standing working lighthouses that survive to this day, and I have visited all of them. They universally symbolize safety, hope, and the romance of the sea. The architecture and signage of coastal New England inspire me, and so do the glorious colors of local hydrangeas. My home fleet home design shows a typical Cape Cod salt box with its graying cedar shingles, clabbered, and blue hydrangeas. This design also refers to New England's patriots who have fought for this country since pre-revolutionary times. Down the street from my studio is the Brewster store. It's 200 plus years old and was built as a universalist church. It's a living institution with locals and visitors. I love to sit with my artist buddies in the winter around the store's stove. I get lots of ideas from our chats. I love our historic town signs. The open book-like shape of these signs greets visitors to the Cape and its towns. My entering Cape Cod panel design carries a map of the Cape in the center, whereas the sign itself shows the seal of Massachusetts. The fantasy work of artists Ralph Cahoon and Richard Sparr inspire me to create humorous designs that reflect our folklore and history. Richard Sparr actually owned the property that my studio is on. He was a protege of Ralph Cahoon. My Mermaid Guild is based on the well-known 300-year-old Cape Cod Girl Shanty. There's a modern tradition of writing new verses for this shanty. My verse goes, 
Cape Cod girls the sails they'd sewn, stitched them up with codfish bones. Now here's a little bit of what the original shanty sounded like. Cape Cod girls don't have no cones. Heave away, fall away. Bones and we're bound away for Australia. So oh, heather up my bully bully. The theme from the movie Jaws is known the world over. Jokes about it and parodies of the movie are reflected in all kinds of souvenirs. Sharks actually inspired me to create my Chatham Chiller wine bottle cover. You can also use it to hold makeup, and you can even put your notions when traveling to a retreat in it. The Lobster Trap Christmas Tree in Provincetown inspired one of my most popular designs. If the lobstermen have this, then we quilters must have the quilters 12 days of Christmas. 12 UFOs unfolding, 11 purchased pre-cuts, 10 hoarders a-heaping, 9 quilters quilting, 8 bobbins bouncing, 7 scissors snipping, 6 geese a-flying, 5 wedding rings, 4 featherweights, 3 spools of thread, 2 tapes and trims, and a partridge in an applique tree. Happy holidays, everyone, and a healthy, happy new year.